It's what, 5.50 a.m. and we are about to head out to go to Mexico. So we have a minor issue. I'll let Bob explain to you what's happening. Okay. Well, our minor issue is that normally I try to prepare for everything ahead of time as much as possible. I do all the paperwork, I get everything all squared away. But this week was a little busy, a little overwhelming <clears throat> with everything we had going on. So I waited until the last minute to fill out our FMM, which is our tourist visa. And now it's telling us that it's not authorized. So we have to just wait or go to the border. Not exactly sure what we need to do. We did pay for it last night. So Bob did all the paperwork last night, paid for it. And it just says it's not authorized yet. We want to leave today. And so Bob's come up with a plan B. So you can get a seven day uh, FMM for free. So I'm going to go ahead and try and apply for another one. And then, uh, but we'll just do a, 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 like a seven day rather than a 14, like we had initially paid for. Which means our two week trip might be cut short, but we don't know. We're just going to have this as a backup plan, get to the border and see what they can do. Okay. So we at least get to go for seven days. that we're gonna stop and fill up for gas. We're gonna stop in Gila Bend, which is our first city that we come to on Highway 8. And then from there, we will continue all the way to Yuma and then on to Mexicali where we'll cross the border. But we will fill up again on the US side and I think it's called Calexico. And so we'll fill up there before we head across the border. So. So we are really interested to know how much gas it's going to cost us or how much we're going to pay for gas along the whole trip to Baja and back and how much the grand total price is. So we're going to keep track of all the gas that we pay for and we'll let you know at the end of this entire series. So stop number one, it looks like it's 367 a gallon. Not too bad, 56.37. Gas, check. Donut, check. They said it would be easy. Still, I'm giving all I got. I just want to tell you something. Back on, I'm a little nervous. Did we do our little, like, if it's, is it called FMM? Two M's. FM, FMM, Visa, whatever you call it. I'm not, know up on all that don't really understand it bob takes care of that part but we're gonna see do we get to go to mexico for seven days or 14 days dun 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 we are just outside of the border probably 10 miles oh not even that far it's literally three or four miles to the border we're gonna swing by Wells Fargo, see if we can get some pesos, and then we'll top up our gas, and we will head across the border. Yep, that's the plan. We're definitely not gonna try and go in Wells Fargo, I'll tell you that. That line. That was ridiculous. I've never seen a line. We're like gonna that. try and get pesos from an ATM. Wish us luck. No luck. Just. 
You took out U.S. money? Yes. We, we'll go to the money exchangers. Oh. <laughs> and see if we can get some pesos from them. So now we gotta find where that's at. What he didn't mention is we already took out cash yesterday <laughs> that we could have exchanged, but now we have a lot of American money on us. All right, I got some pesos. <gasps> you won it. Success? Success. Now they're all big bills, but at least we got some pesos. Did they not have smaller bills? Um, I didn't actually ask because there is a huge line up there. I oh. could not believe how many people were in line. So. Well, success number one. Now off to get some gas to top off our tank. We have about half a tank right now. And then cross the border and then try to get a visa, right? Is that what we're... Yeah, yeah. No, well, our FMM, so we need to get... So we'll get gas and then we got to cross the border and try to get our tourist visa paperwork all squared away. So. I don't feel like getting out of the car, so I'm just gonna sneak over and ask Bob, how much is gas here? Hold on, it's taking a second. How much is gas here? Four twenty-nine. Not too bad. Four twenty-nine versus what? Three seventy-five at the last one. Three something. Yeah. I thought it'd be worse. Price is fifty-one twenty-nine for almost twelve gallons of gas. Okay. How in the world are we gonna get out of here? Because he just pulled in. This prover truck is in the way. Can we back up? Onto the main road. Yikes. So. Do you think you can get through here? Yeah, I can get through. I'm gonna have to go to that sure? side. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. I can see right down the side of the vehicle, it's fine. Oh, wait, I can go this way now. Because she left. Okay. Like a pro. Like I've done this before. Which I haven't. We drive it like it's a little car. <laughs> Not a big mm -hmm. fan. So maybe we just have to come park and then walk. Where am I gonna walk to? I don't know. Where is the office? Like, I don't even see, they're like a big building. What big building? The, Im the immigration office to get our okay, FMM right staffed? Right here, right here. We're parking, we're parking right there. Okay. Okay. I don't think he, is he right? I don't know. Say FMM, the visa yeah. stamp? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I kind of can't believe what's happening right now. Um, 
I'm hoping that everything is going okay, but we couldn't figure out where this immigration office was. We didn't see it as we were driving through the border. Could have totally been our fault for not seeing it, but we go through the border and we know that we need, you know, our, I, I believe the, the temporary visa, right? To travel all the way to Baja and stay over seven days and all of that stuff. So we pull over the side of the road and we look it up online and we just can't figure out where, where it is. Finally, we think it's like, you know, obviously right at the border, which makes perfect sense. So we're driving down here and some guy like, you know, kind of gets our attention and is like, Hey, you know, you essentially saying what we're trying to do. I'm sure we stick out terribly with the van and everything. And clearly we have no idea what we're doing, but he was really aggressive of, of trying to make us park and follow him. And we said, okay, this is what we're trying to do. You know, that to go get that stamp and whatever we're needing to do. And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't feel comfortable us both just parking the van and leaving. So I'm currently parked in the van and Bob followed the guy there. I mean, we're going to tip him. We're assuming, you know, he's just, you know, wanting a tip, which I don't even, that's awesome. If he really shows us what to do. And he said short line, so we'll see. But when we drove by that line was really long, but I'm thinking it was to walk across the border. So we are such newbies. It's just kind of unbelievable. So I'm just sitting here. I can see on my phone where Bob is. Oh, oh, he called me. Hillary? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I got it. Okay. I had to pay. It's super easy. There's really no line. Okay. So do I have to come um, back and do it too? Yeah. Anyway. Everything's I'll good? Be, I'm walking back. I'll be right there in just a minute. Okay. And you got yours done? Yeah. Did like you tip that. the guy? No, not yet. Oh, is he still with you? Yeah. So. Okay. You can, uh, you, you'll be absolutely fine walking back. By myself with him? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. okay love you. Bye. <laughs> what are we doing? Apparently it all worked out. Bob has his, so I'm going to have to go follow the guy and do it. We're going to have to give him a big tip because I'm starting to think he's just like a little angel protecting us. We'll keep you posted. Well, this is turning out to be quite a stressful little uh, uh, border crossing. The office to get it signed in, you literally have to park in this like terrible parking spot right along the road. And then you go inside and you have to pay. Unfortunately, because we, we did ours online and we already paid, but because the form wasn't authorized, they wouldn't take that. So we had to repay again. But Hey, we at least got it and we are good to go. So now Hillary's running to do it and I'm just sitting here watching the car. So we will wait and see what happens. I'm kind of in shock right now of what just happened. Clearly the guy knew what he was doing. Oh yeah. Okay, guys, we have, I just can't even believe what just happened, but we both have the FNM card or whatever you need. Everything's good. I ha it was a great experience. We had to tip like a lot though. <sighs> I am just like in shock. All right, the story, the saga. Oh, that you was incredibly stressful. And so it started with us, first off, they've been doing construction on the like Mexico entrance. And so nothing is marked there's and there's no guidance online and so we basically were driving around trying to figure out where in the world do we need to go to get to get our fmm stamped when yeah. we yeah we clearly we paid for it last night you know uh, we explained it this morning we filled out the paperwork all we have to do is go get this this elusive stamp it was the most insane thing that we just walked through right it's incredible what just happened um we started to so we went we knew from Matt or we Googled it. So we knew we had a location on where to go and we get down there. And of course, of course it's like right there at the border. Right. But we have no idea where to, no idea where to park, anything like that. Yeah. You're stressed out. We're kind of getting snappy with each other. It's crazy. And then this guy runs up to our van. Right. He was like, 
what do you basically he said what are you looking for and we said we need to get our fmm stamped and he's like right there he's like go park and walk over here and so we ended up driving a little bit more because he kept telling us to park and then we parked in a taxi spot he's like no you got to move right away yeah he was like park right here the people in the park which they all look like homeless people no big deal but he said everyone will watch your van and i'll walk you there you know essentially in kind of said that like we couldn't really understand him totally but I, I was like no way are we both like literally five minutes into Mexico or like 15 minutes into Mexico we're both gonna walk and essentially like I mean I just worst case scenario thing thought this guys and I was like our van is gonna get stolen and it, that's gonna be our story <laughs> so I was like no nope and then Bob said I'll go and go check it all out I was like okay so I wait in the van Bob goes Everything goes like smoothly. Yeah, you walk right in and you said uh, FMM and the guy says uh, in the office. And so went in the office, we did have to pay again. Yep. And so we, we paid and then uh, basically gave us a little card with a stamp on it and off we went. And so he comes back to the car, he texts me, he said, everything's good. I'm like, okay, okay, here we go. So he comes back, gets me. And then the guy again is like, both of you come with me, both of you come with me. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm willing to go at this alone. And so Bob stays with the van and I walk with him. Super nice guy. Let me just say that. Like, I wish I would have gotten, oh, his name was Ricardo. 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 So I got his name, but like super sweet guy. Hindsight's 2020. Like I just was paranoid, but the nicest guy, you know he does this for a living. He literally looks for us, picks us, you know, like so smart. What a yeah. great way to and make a living. And we stand out. <laughs> we stand out, right? And he he literally walks us right there. He can't go in the building with us, and so we have to go in by ourselves. It's not a big deal. Once we got in there, both Bob and I did not have exact change in pesos. And they both times took left. Oh gosh, Bob. Oh my goodness gracious. Both times let us get uh, didn't like take all like we both Bob and I had a thousand in pesos and they only made us pay 500 each that was so sweet like he could have said well I gotta take the thousand then right like you no change no yeah. he literally took less than what it, we knew online we knew how much this was so that was super sweet of them and then I'm done like both of us less than five minutes walk back and then I knew I knew obviously we're gonna tip big like this is no matter what, this guy just saved us. We had no idea what we were doing. So huge learning experience for both of us. And then when we get, he walked me all the way back to the van, so sweet. And then he was like, okay, you know, and I'm like, absolutely. So I handed him a tip and then he's like, you got more. <laughs> <laughs> so I handed him another tip. We tipped him very well. He was worth it. I'm sorry. Yeah. He was worth it. It was worth it. I mean, it's like just the cost of doing business. You it know? was. It's, it was it's fine. We absolutely believe that whole thing was worth it. And we are, we're essentially out $60 because that's what we paid last night. We are going to chalk this up to us being newbies. We do not know what we are doing. We tried to do as much research as we could. We watched some videos, you know, we Googled and we did the best we could with what we had and the knowledge we had and never have done this before other than going to Rocky Point. So I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. Right now we're getting about 22 miles to the gallon, going about 60 miles an hour. So we're not speeding. We're basically going the speed limit, 100 kilometers per hour. But everybody else is certainly going a lot faster than that. But I'm okay with it because we're doing great on gas mileage. Looks like we are about to go through our first military checkpoint. Good. Uh, we're going to San Felipe. Thank you. Gracias. Checkpoint number one, done. Thank that you. was finito. 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 Done. That was easy. Oh, 
ocean. We see the ocean. We are 20 minutes away from our first stop. We are currently sitting at the RV park. Um, I forget what it's called, but we're at an RV park in- Kirk's or Kick, Kirk, Kicks? Like Kickus or Kirkus or Kikus or something. Anyways, we've been here about like 20, 30 minutes. Um, I'm not gonna show you our spot yet because we're actually waiting for the beachfront spot that they're actually, they're working on right now. So we're not in our official spot, but Bob just made us some bomb lunch and I have to show you guys. Like, I am so excited. You're the best. I'm currently holding the face to our control panel for, it's called the BMP Pro or RV Master. Yeah, that does show. Yep, it goes. This is the display and controller that we use for everything in the van. Now, everything still works because we can connect to it with Bluetooth and the buttons across the front, front worked, but this, this morning the screen wouldn't turn on and I had no idea why. So now that we're here and I got a couple minutes, I took it apart. I noticed this cable is unplugged. So I'm gonna give it a try, see if I can plug it back in and maybe get it working again. And we're, think, we're thinking that maybe it rattled out, you know, because, sorry, it's really loud. They're working on stairs. Um, but we think it might have just rattled out because everything shakes the whole time you're driving. So we're going to give it a shot. Got it all plugged back together, screwed down. It's a little more difficult than I expected, but I got it. So we'll plug it in and see if it works. It turned on right away. Right, that's promising. It turned on right away. So now we just gotta wait and see if it starts up correctly. Oh, this is so, new. So, no, no, this is, cause I told, it said, we got an error message that said we were low or on storage or it was almost full. So this is like the Google Drive, I believe. But I'm not sure. What to I do? I think I'm gonna just hit the clean button here once it yeah. does its thing. Yeah. No. We'll see, but this is, see, this is the error I got. Oh. I don't know what that is. What does that mean? Maybe we should Google that. That's encouraging. It turned on, but I'm not sure if it's working properly. So we'll have to give it some time and see. We'll keep you updated. He's tired of working on it. That's what he just said. <laughs> I may have inferred that. Yeah. This is so great. There's stairs to the upstairs. We can go up there to watch the sunset. Look at where we are. It's so pretty. Oh, for our first stop, we really scored. So we're parked right here and we've got this, I don't know, cabana? I'm not sure what you'd call it, but yeah, it's right up there. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. Yeah, this is pretty stunning out here.
This is so amazing. I love it.